Hi to there, folks. I'm Gene of RPG. And welcome back to more MS Saga: A New Dawn. Last time, uh, we got a lot of goodies from the Neozar secret volcano base. Yeah, that doesn't get old. And uh, we we also did about half of it, I'd say. So hopefully, we'll finish up the base this time. I say hopefully, but it's almost like I have the power of editing, and I get to choose when we stop parts. So. <laughs> So, yes, we are indeed going to finish it this time. Alright. Uh, oh, hey, we've got more required fights. Of course we do. What was I thinking? Triple gap plants. A uh, little dangerous. A little bit. But that's okay. Especially now that I remember that uh, shot burst and shoot all does not quite kill them. You have to hit them again afterwards, but that's okay. That's not that bad. Ooh, although that one's gonna die as soon as shot burst goes off. Maybe even once shoot all goes off. I really do wish we could make a gap plant. I, I, I'm a very big fan of the gap plant mobile suit. Alright, but that wasn't quite enough, but that's okay, they're about to do boost attacks, which, well, actually, come to think of it, means that we're gonna kill one right here, but we're not able to outrun them outside of Tremi, even though Bosley's in the Zeta Gundam, with, like, 300 speed behind it, he himself is just too slow, so, what can you do? Okay, so I could turn around and go right back to the save point. But I would rather not. Mainly because then we'll just get into another fight. So let's just keep pressing on. Look, up there, something enormous appro- oh, okay. This is the end of the line! If you try to stop the Neozarth, you will be terminated! It's a little girl! They're making little kids fight now? Who are you calling a kid? Watch your mouth! I am Lapis Zarth, member of the glorious Zarth family! Lapis Zarth? Lapis? Is it really you? It's me, Tremmy. Tremmy Zarth. You remember me, don't you, Tremmy? We used to play together when we were little. Tremmy? Tremmy Zarth? Liar! I don't remember any Tremmy in the Zarth family. Nah, think back, come on, you have to remember. Like I said, I don't know you. Ah, okay. <laughs> so, fun fact, that cutscene was the very first time in this game we actually heard Tremmy say something. <laughs> it's usually Tristan, Aeon, and Fritz who get voice acting. That's the very first time we actually hear Tremmy say something. Yeah, but it seems she doesn't remember me. Maybe she was brainwashed or something? That's actually a reference to what is... To what the girl is in, which is... The Psycho Gundam! The Psycho Gundam is a pretty critical point, actually, for the uh, Zeta Gundam series. Alright, but... We don't, unfortunately, have... We do not, unfortunately, have system hack at the moment, so we're going to have to make do with, well, what we've got. So, what we're going to do is we're going to defend with Bosley, use power up on Fritz, and Fritz is going to use armor all because he needs, he only needs eight energy because we're going to need to go with something, 
something a little different. And it's going to do a boost attack, but we can't really do anything about that, admittedly. Uh, what we're going to have Fritz do is he's going to use Triangle Snipe. Triangle Snipe is basically just Leg Snipe and Arm Snipe combined. This will lower its speed and its attack power pretty nicely, but that's, that's about it. There's not a whole lot else I can do about that. Uh, do I have a regular power kit? I do not. That is surprising. We may want to purchase some of those later. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and defend with Bosley. I'm not that worried about the boost attack it's going to do. It's going to do a shot burst style boost attack. And yes, all of its attacks are beam based. Go figure. You know, at the point when we could have used... <laughs> when we would have been able to actually utilize, you know, uh, Aeon. We also don't have a funnel user. But on the upside, this thing's not regaining... Um, it is not regaining uh, HP every turn. Uh, we're gonna have Lee Fong hop out, and she's gonna actually use Mind Shield on Tremi. And Bosley is gonna kick out Gatling Fire, even though he's debuffed, because can't do a lot about that. It takes too long to fix that. So we just, we gotta keep up the offense. Which means he's just gonna have to do less in damage. There's the defense jammer. We're going to go ahead and Gatling fire with Tremi. Lee Fong's going to defend. We're going to have... Uh, we're going to actually go ahead... Well, no, no. I want Lee Fong to defend. We're going to go ahead and have Bosley defend and take this hit because he's actually going to switch out here in a bit. Yeah, Beanfield would have completely shut this boss down, which is probably why they waited till now to have us fight it. Alright, it's about to just do a regular shot. We're going to go ahead and power up Lee Fong. Lee Fong's going to use Ankoku Ken. We're going to switch over to Fritz, who is going to go ahead and use full repair on Tremi. Unfortunately, its defense is not debuffed because I can't really, I can't realistically do that. I'm afraid. Not right now, at least. It sucks, but that's life. Um, let's go ahead and have... Tristan and Reznor are not ready yet. Let's go ahead and have Tremi charge. We'll have Lee Fong charge as well. And we're going to have Fritz use his repair all technique. Alright, but so far so good. Let's go ahead and uh, defend, defend, and Fritz is going to use his double shield boost attack. We're going to be utilizing double shield a lot in the future because it's just such a useful attack. Attack in quotation marks, <laughs> I guess. All right, now we're going to go ahead and use power up on what's going to be Tristan. Lee Fong's going to kick out an Ankoku Ken. We're going to have Tristan hop out. He's going to use Giga Crush. And if Lee, Fa Lee, Fink, Lee Fong does not sur or survives this turn, she's going to switch out for Reznor.
Nah, I figured it was gonna attack her. Stop being silly, Lapis. <laughs> I don't want to fight you. Shut up! I don't know you! I don't! Well, I remember you. I know that deep down you're really a kind and loving person, so please stop shooting me in the face, okay? No! 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 Okay. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's have Tremmy kick out a Gatling fire. Let's switch over to probably Fritz, because he's got defense up still. And he's going to use a regeneration kit. It's about to use a technique, which means, ah, we're fine. Granted, I'm going to laugh if this kills it, or kills uh, the Psycho Gundam, and Lee Fong just kind of gets screwed. Luckily, that didn't happen. All right, now let's go ahead and let's switch to Bosley, actually, who's going to defend. We're going to switch over to Reznor, who's going to use Plasma Lancer. Unbuffed, unfortunately, but that's just the way it goes. And Fritz is going to use Double Shield. But there we go. With that, the Psycho Gundam is defeated. Not really all that hard of a fight. Oh man, they didn't even give her any money. <laughs> and the Psycho Gundam retreats. She ran away. I won't let them get away with this. What did they do to her? Come on, Tristan. We've got to get to Gabriel. Yeah. Indeed we do. Uh, let's, let's, oops. No, uh, we'll put that back so that way it doesn't take longer. There we go. All right, let's keep going. Because, ha, we're not done with this place. Are you kidding? We've got more fights ahead. That looks like a door you can enter. It is not. I know. It kind of bothers me because you definitely look like you should be able to go into there. Come on. Make it. Make. Damn it. It always happens and it makes me so sad. All right, but uh, that's okay. We've got a very standard setup here. Let's go ahead and actually get Tristan out here. And he's going to charge because I do know that he's not strong enough with just a regular attack to kill one of the shot killers. Uh, Fritz, on the other hand, is going to use Shot Burst, which will kill all the barrier mobile suits. Except for maybe the one that's using counter zone, because it's technically defending. Or at least it's supposed to be. It should we should not have done that much damage to it. Huh. Interesting. Alright, now let's go ahead and use power charge on probably the one on the left. Tremmy's going to go ahead and just attack with the Beam Lance. And let's get Reznor out here. And she will attack the same one that Tristan's attacking. And this will probably kill them. Okay, well, evidently, I forgot which one I targeted with Tremmy, but it doesn't matter. Alright, uh... <laughs> We're getting really low on TP, which I knew we would be, because I'm doing this all in one go here. Alright, 
uh, which means we probably need to use some restorative drinks. Tremmy, Reznor's fine. She doesn't need it. Fritz definitely does. Bosley's fine for the time being. Alright, I think we're good. I actually made it to the dive! Yay! Oh, but here we go. I'm a little surprised we're seeing this enemy. We have a serpent. Okay. The serpent is actually from the Gundam Wing. Uh, the Gundam Wing series. In fact, it is from the Gundam Wing Endless Waltz uh, OVA. And uh, it's a pretty spiffy mobile suit, if I do say so myself. Uh, let's go ahead and deal with the with the Dowage Kais, the Dwaj Kais. But the Serpent does melee attacks and it has a very powerful double Gatling gun, which I believe counts as a beam-based weapon. We're gonna be seeing a lot of the Serpent mobile suit and variations of it going forward, but uh, you can never make a vi you can never make a serpent. Kind of sucks because I am a fan of the serpent mobile suit, but now nah, what can you do? That said, we've hit it pretty hard. I think we're good to just shoot it. Yeah, they're fun mobile suits, but they're not that bad. I still say the Dowage Kai's are are easily the worst regular enemies in this place. They're just so beefy. Oh, good lord. It looks hideous. I hate I hate how the Bawu looks. <laughs> like, why does it have to have the big spike? Anyway, we need to head this way to get access to some treasure. The way we need to go is through the doors that's right next to the save point. Huh. Okay, well, we've got three dark cubelades. We know how to deal with these, luckily, but... Uh, I guess we just defend with Bosley, because he doesn't have enough energy to where I can get to a Gatling Fire second turn. Alright, uh, we want to prioritize the one that's not using etc. Because we want to be able to kill it. Oh, it's okay, they're using charge, which means whichever ones we hit are gonna die, so... Uh, though it's about to do a boost attack, and I know Bosley's not fast enough to outrun it, unfortunately. That's okay, though. That's okay. Trammy's fast enough, but she can't kick out 2,000 damage with one gunshot. Alright, but we head up this way, and this will take us to a little alcove, which will have treasure. As well as a required fight. Huzzah! We're probably going to get into a fight before it. Oh no, we made it! Ha! Ah, that never happens. I'm so excited! Twice now! It's, it's, it's happened! Ah, but here we go. This fight's going to be a lot more obnoxious, isn't it? Okay, well, we're going to kick out Shot Burst with the Hyper Mega Launcher. Tremi's going to actually defend here, and Bosley is going to use is going to use his Shoot-All with the Long Beam Rifle. I doubt this will be enough to take care of the Battle Ashramars, 
Oh, especially since Fritz is in rough shape. I did not realize that. All right, this just got a lot messier. Okay. Like, way, way messier. All right, let's Plasma Lancer that one, and let's go ahead and get Fritz back up. I did not realize he was almost dead. It's about to do a boost attack. It's probably going to be, um, uh, la, 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 la. uh probably going to be Mega Fire. We need, we really need to get Fritz healed up. So I guess I have to use a Repair Kit DX, which I don't even know if that's going to be enough, honestly. Uh, let's go ahead and get Li Fong out here, and she can Senko Ken the Shot Killer, though I don't know if that's going to be enough to kill it. Maybe double attack would be... Yeah, we're going to go with double attack instead. I think that might be a better way to go here. Oh, speaking of Senko Ken. Okay, fine, asshole. That's all right. If Tremi's shot killed that one, then this is going to kill the other. This fight turned out way more messy than I was expecting it to. Alright, let's use a regeneration kit and we're going to go ahead and switch Tremi. And get, I guess, Resner out here. It doesn't really matter. Because it's about to do a boost attack, which means it's likely going to do quick shot. Yeah. Which is the sole reason I wanted to switch Tremi out because, well, I don't think it could have killed her. Not unless it got a crit, but you never know. Jeez, that fight was way messier than it should have been. <laughs> but we got a large beam rifle! Yay! <laughs> that's actually not bad because uh, that's something we can sell. I've gotten a lot of them this playthrough, actually. Like, let's see. How many is that now? That is my third one. That is... You, that's actually like three times more than what I normally get, so... Uh, yeah, let's have Resner go ahead and use her high repair. Yeah, that should be fine. That should be fine. I don't think we gotta worry. Alright, but treasure right here is an enemy. Great. As I was saying, though, here is a giant bazooka Kai. <laughs> oh, good lord. Talk about an outdated weapon. We could have bought that way back, gosh, I think before Diggins Rock, actually. It is horribly outdated at this point. 168 attack power for 2 energy? Nah. Not for how awkward it is. And 10 Zaku 3 data, which puts us at 18, actually. Granted, that is still not enough to make a Zaku 3, and so I'm not going to talk about it yet. But, hey, it's interesting. Uh, we're fine on stat, on HP and whatnot. Let's get back to that save point. Of course it would be Kamikaze Ravens I encounter. Of course it would. As I'm trying to preserve my, my TP because we're almost done with this place, but we still have like two or three boss fights left. Of course it would be things that are going to kill two of my teammates. We're not fighting these. And, uh, this is where smoke shines because, yeah, I'm not going to try and fight three of these. It's going to take way too long. We're going to get beat up. Nah, smoke. See you guys. I would end up spending more TP in healing than I did on the five for smoke.
All right, how are we looking? Not exactly the greatest, but we've got restorative drinks. We'll be okay. Let's use one on Bosley. Fritz is the one who's gonna need it the most. Tremi also has been using a lot of TP and she's gonna be using a lot going forward as well, so. That mobile suit, it's that kid. What mobile suit? How nice to see you. I'd like to take a moment before we keep going to point out at this point, for whatever reason, we magically know this kid's name. <laughs> he has never once said his name. No one has ever said what his name is yet. We just know it. <laughs> I've been hoping for a chance to pay you back. But why? Why are you on Gabriel's side? He's out to destroy the world. We've already been through this. If he succeeds, you'll die too. Yeah, we're aware of that. In fact, that's the very reason we're help- what? This is about revenge. Revenge for the Zarts. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That's been the MO for the whole game. Stop it. There's nothing to be gained from revenge. Believe me, I'm a Zarth too. I know the pain and suffering you've been through. You're a Zarth? If that's true, then why do you oppose us? Don't you want a rev don't you want revenge on the human race yourself? <laughs> the human race? The Zarths are human too, you know. So please, give up your plans for revenge. This is crazy. Can't you see how Gabriel is taking advantage of your emotions? He's using you for his own purposes. Shut up! It's too late to turn back. I have no choice but to fight. But we don't have a reason to fight each other. You might not have one, but I do. This battle will decide which is which of us is right once and for all. And yes, that's the voice I imagine him having. <laughs> no, stop. I don't want to fight you. You will fight. Fighting is all I have left. Okay, so, <clears throat> the Ultron Gundam. It's a little hard to see here, but uh, he's not quite the same as he was previously. He's now using a lance. Yeah, he's, he's using a lance. All right, we're going to start off with a speed all and armor all. And Fritz is going to get ready to go ahead and use triangle snipe because that's the closest thing to a system hack I got. There's the defense jammer. All right, and he's going to use a priority boost attack. There's nothing we can really do about that. So, at this point, we're going to go ahead and have Tremi power herself up. Bosley's going to reestablish the armor all. And there's the plasma lancer. It's going to hurt. But not enough to kill Fritz. That's good, because Fritz is able to do the one thing that I actually care about him truly doing here. There we go, his attack and speed are heavily debuffed. He is gonna use either Lightning Lancer or <coughs> Lightning <coughs> No, he's gonna do either Lightning Lancer or Shoot All. My guess is he's gonna do Shoot All. So we're gonna have Resner hop out now. And I want her to power up um, Bosley, and I want Tremi to defend, and I want Bosley to defend. Oh no, I'm wrong. He's using power charge. Well, that is not really all that bad. Okay, Resner needs to use... Uh, Resner actually probably needs to switch at this point. But we'll have her stay right here and defend. Well, actually, we're going to have her charge because it's about to use a technique. And Tremi and Bosley, since they're completely buffed, are going to Gatling fire this guy. But yes, he's prioritizing Lance boost attacks now instead of punching. Which means he is definitely tougher. He is also a little more true to the Ultron Gundam. Fun fact, though, the Lance that he is using is not actually the Lance that belongs to the Ultron Gundam. That's the lance that belongs to the predecessor to the Ultron Gundam, the Gundam Shenlong. 
just, you know, fun little tidbits. All right, this is probably going to be a Plasma Lancer, but that's okay. That is A-OK. -okay. We're fine. Let's go ahead and get Li Fong out so she can use an Ankoku Ken. We're going to have Tremi use Power Up on her. And Bosley is going to probably switch now. Bosley's going to go ahead and switch for Tristan. And Tristan is going to probably... Uh, not probably. Tristan's going to use Repair All because that'll heal whichever one he hits. Ooh, he is not using a priority attack. Which might be bad because we might outrun him with Tristan. Kind of hope not. Well, I mean, at least, you know, we healed the counter attack. Ah, Shot Burst! <laughs> okay. I forgot he had this, though it doesn't matter. Not bad. You're better than before. Actually, I think we're right about the same. This is getting interesting. Now, let's do this for real. Nah, we, we don't have to fight. Oh, no. We do. We gotta fight. Okay, let's have Lee Fong. Let's actually have Lee Fong switch, because we need to get some healing going here. Because he's about to lay down the hurt. We're going to switch. We're going to use full repair. Uh, Tremi is going to go ahead and use power up on Tristan. And Tristan is going to charge. But yeah, he's about to lay down the hurt. There is the overcharge, and he's about to kick out, I believe, the strongest, um, the strongest, uh, Lance boost attack. So, I'm gonna show you guys a little trick here. Something that I don't really think they planned on you doing. So, it's gonna burn through our regeneration kits pretty quickly, but because I know what he's doing and how it's probably gonna kill someone, we're going to you <coughs> we're going to select regeneration kit with Fritz and target Tristan. We're going to have Tremi select a regeneration kit and target Fritz. And then we'll have Tristan select regeneration kit and target Tremi. He is not doing what he's supposed to do, damn it. Oh, that's why. Alright, now he's going to do it. Okay, asshole. But same deal, we're going to... Uh, and like I said, this will burn through your, uh, this is going to burn through our regeneration kits. But this will guarantee whichever one of us he kills is right back up this turn. Because he is going to kill whoever he hits with that, most likely. All right, and he's going to follow up probably with Shot Burst, because that's his whole shtick at this point. Uh, I want Fritz to use Double Shield, actually. Well, no, we don't need to do that. We're going to use Chaff Field instead. Ha-ha! <laughs> and Tremi is going to go ahead and... She's actually going to switch out. There's no reason for Tremi to be out here right now. Fritz is going to use Chaff Field, because it's going to be a Shot Burst. Lee Fong's going to use Ankoku Ken. Tristan's going to use Giga Crush. Let's slam into this guy. We're almost done with this fight. But that is a very helpful tip. And something you're going to be seeing me do a lot pretty much from now on. Uh, because, well, it's just, it's really effective. A lot of the bosses in the main game are not set up for you to be reviving the characters on the same turn that they happen to kill them, because it's going to happen a lot going forward. In case you're curious about why everyone's getting pilot damage, uh, that is because of the Lance. The Lance has a heightened chance of pilot damage being inflicted. Uh, let's go ahead and have Bosley hop out now, and he's going to charge, because he's almost ready. And we'll have Resner hop out, and she is ready. She's going to go ahead and She's going to go with, I guess, Plasma Lancer. 
Yeah, I guess Plasma Lancer. I was gonna go with Hypercharge instead, but it, he's almost dead. Oh, that didn't do shit. Ah, oh, well, that's why. I mean, her her offense is debuffed. All right, and now we're gonna go ahead and kick out double Gatling fires. Uh, it's probably gonna be a priority attack, which means someone's gonna die, most likely. But just in case, let's use double shield. No, nope, Voltic Lancer. Someone's going down. Major Resner. Well, hey, if I had to pick one who's gonna get KO'd, it would be her. But yeah, that was Tuck. A harder fight, but not the worst thing. For beating him, you got a crap ton of experience and a little bit of money. And the Dragon Fang, which I'll talk about in a moment here. Your mobile suit's going to blow. Eject! Eject! Come on! Too late. Nah, don't give up. There's still time. Heh. <laughs> you shouldn't be so concerned about your enemies. Wait, I'm coming to get you. <coughs> No, you'd never make it in time. Now listen, I have a favor to... to uh, <laughs> oh, goodness. A favor? I want you to promise to rescue Lapis. She's just a child. She shouldn't have to fight. Once Gabriel's mind control over her is broken, she'll stop fighting you. All right, I'll save her. I promise. Thank you. I wish I had met you earlier. I'll keep my promise. Rest in peace. Come on, let's go. We shouldn't be far now. All right. Uh, so remember when I said that we were that we were gonna do all of this place this time? I lied. But before we end this off, let's take a quick look at the Dragon Fang because it's a really important item. As you can see, it is an arm guard similar to the Shining Bracer. It adds a whopping 50 to the melee stat and 30 to the armor stat. It also will change. Uh, your punch attack into the Dragon Knuckle, which is one of the most powerful ones. Powerful punching attacks in the game. Here's the rub. This particular item is super freaking finicky with what it can be equipped with. So, for instance, because of the high power wing that we've had on Lee Fong forever, we can't equip it to her, despite the fact that she'd be the character we'd want to use it on. So, why don't we try Tristan instead? I'm pretty sure he has he's able to equip it. Which he can, yeah. It's a really, really good um, arm guard. One of the best in the game, actually. And if you can equip it on Lee Fong at this point, well, congratulations. You have the punching weapon that you're going to be using for a while, most likely. Unfortunately, because of how finicky it is, uh, that's not an option for us. So, let's see. Double Zeta Gundam. Uh, can I? Oh, yeah, I can definitely make this fit. I can do it. We're going to put the Shining Bracer onto the, the Double Zeta Gundam for the time being. Give it a little more melee oomph without sacrificing defense, I guess. But yeah, the Dragon Knuckle, really good arm part. Really wish that Lee Fong could equip it with the High Power Wing. Because uh, the I've already kind of touched on this. Her claw weapons have been great, but they are very much dated at this point. And so her offensive potential is kind of dwindling. But then again, that's also partially the Shining Gundam's fault. Anyway, next time on MS Saga A New Dawn, we will go ahead and finish up the Neozar secret, se secret base. I promise. Don't worry. We're actually almost done, but it's with cutscenes and everything. It's going to be a little bit longer. I'm Gene of RPG, and I'll see you guys next time.